The Goodland Water Tower collapsed. Many towns began wondering the same thing. Could it happen here? News Channel 18's Tiffany Dismore explains how other towns now are dealing with their own water towers. Tiffany? Jeff, Gina, after Goodland's water tower crumbled to the ground late Monday night, many have been left wondering about their own community's water towers. It's something that's on your mind that you just, what would it, what would we do? How can we make sure it doesn't happen here. And I think that's the big issue. Many other town officials like Fowler Clerk Treasurer Kathy Schwartz can't help but wonder. Many small communities water towers look very similar to Goodland's before it collapsed. And yet those questions creep into officials' minds, even though those communities seem to have a schedule for maintenance and inspections. We do inspections and of course ours was done two years ago. The water collapse raises concerns about legislation and setbacks here in Fowler. Their water tower, it's just feet from US 52 where cars are driving constantly. I think things are going to change and I don't know if they're going to mandate that we move our tower, which I wouldn't think so, but um, new laws are going to come into effect, I think. But should new laws and regulations come into effect, do not expect the height of water towers to come down. The heights of water towers regulate, help regulate the pressure mm -hmm. in town. Ryan Wybrew is both Fowler and Goodland's field engineer. He says the height of a tower plays an important role when a town loses power. When that electricity goes out, this storage tank, the water tower, allows people to continue to have water. The height of a tower may not change, but many towns are considering making inspections more of a priority just in case. The city of Lafayette has four water towers, three with a holding capacity of one million gallons and one being a two million gallon unit. From 1993 to 1995, Lafayette Water Works made major upgrades to its facilities. Two one million gallon towers, which were built in 1963, were completely rehabilitated. Two new composite tanks were installed. One was a one million gallon unit and the other holds two million gallons of water. Tomorrow, we'll take a look at West Lafayette's water tanks. Tiffany Dismore, News Channel 18.